Hi YouTube viewers. I just wanted to pop in because yesterday, Valentine's Day, I got to have a little fragrance field trip. Um, I live on the East Coast and I spent yesterday in Manhattan and I did a lot of things including I went on a little sniffathon to Bergdorf Goodman and Barney's and a couple other places. Um, but the highlight of the day I wanted to share with you. I was invited to a luncheon with about a dozen and a half other ladies at Simrise and this is really exciting and I feel terrible because I haven't done the video yet that explains uh, what Simrise is um, and how it is, you know, who it is that makes your perfumes. Simrise is one of the uh, handful of top fragrance and flavor companies. Um, these are the companies that actually employ the perfumers for the most part. So most of the fragrances you see out there in the department stores um, and other places, the perfumers at these big companies are the ones who actually um, put those notes together and in collaboration with their clients actually assembled and created the perfume. So these are the people who are the artists in perfumery. Um, and Simrise is one of the uh, companies that employs, um, employs them. So I was invited to this luncheon and I get there and I get off the elevator and the first thing you see is this um, lit wall, backlit wall on which they have displayed uh, a, a pretty wide variety, not everything of course, but a pretty wide variety of the fragrances and lotions and body products that Simrise has helped um, bring to market. And very exciting to me is that um, among my f favorite fragrances on my wish list are the Come de Garcon incense series and there they were in their little black bottles right there displayed. I almost wanted to go up there and swipe them, but I would never do that of course. Um, I'm going to own those this month. Uh, that was a digression, sorry. Um, but the reason that Simrise invited uh, us to come in was to show us um, some of the market research that they've done uh, for clients trying to identify who is the fragrance purchaser of the n next generation, n not, you know, like five or ten years from now, um, focusing on women. Men do, you know, constitute a part of the marketplace, but this was focused on women. and. Simrise had gone out and had done a tremendous amount of marketing, talking to trendsetters and fashion people and makeup people, and have put together this, these images of three idealized women that they think women born in the late 70s or in the 80s would seek to emulate um, and would envision themselves as these women. and. They took these images of these three women and gave them to their perfumers with carte blanche. Come up with a fragrance that you think this idealized type of woman would wear. Um, and the, the level of detail um, the, uh, for these, these idealized women, the, their style, what kind of shoes they'd wear, what kind of drinks they'd serve to guests, what kind of food they'd eat, what do they read. What do they study? What do they like to do? They had put so much detail into understanding who you are if you're between 25 and, and 35 or will be between 25 and 35 or within the next 5 to 10 years. Who you are and what it is you want in a fragrance. Um, it was remarkable. But by far <laughs> the best part of the visit was that the perfumers actually came out and talked with us. Now, if you love fragrance, these creative geniuses are the rock stars of the perfume world. Um, you know, I, I don't want to blow it too out of proportion, but to me they're almost like Renaissance artists because they do work for commission um, or on a commission and given a, they're given a task uh, to deliver a particular type of fragrance for a particular client much the way a Renaissance artist, uh, many of the Western artists, worked um, to, on commissions. Um, and that they were given carte blanche to just develop a perfume with an image in mind, what, they, what resulted was remarkable. And we were able to sniff 12 different works in progress 
um, works that I think were, were largely before any extensive collaboration from outsiders or from clients. Um, and I've smelled many fragrances. I've never had the opportunity to sniff a work in progress. Um, more than just a building block. I mean, these were these were much more sophisticated and thought out than that. They were not, you know, bare bones fragrances by any means, but they weren't complete. And and where any one of them could be taken, um, you know, it would be fascinating to to see and to know. Um, truly a remarkable opportunity, and I was reminded again of the artistry. Um, that exists in the perfume industry. And that's, that's really kind of why I, I, I wanted to do this video. I was a little concerned that y'all might be bored with my lunch at a, at a fragrance and flavor company, but you know something? There isn't all that much art that is truly accessible to all of us. Uh, accessible and wearable. Certainly fashion art, but you know, Clothing is also utilitarian. So most of us don't really use fashion as art, and fashion as art can be quite costly. Um, perfume as art, though, is so accessible. And I see fragrance sales um, declining. Some would like to call it flat, but I, I think it's probably more true that it's declining. And I just really would love to see it. If, if any of you could get just a little bit excited, you know, and let me make you a lot excited about perfumes and about um, the art that goes into them and about uh, what it is you like and trying new things, then um, certainly these videos will have been, um, you know, even that much more fun. So anyway, that's a little bit about Simrise. I, it's a quick video. Um, I had a great time there. I really, um, I want to take two seconds here just to thank, if they happen to ever watch this, thank the, the individuals who hosted um, the event and the marketing people at Simrise who were so gracious to us. Um, and I hope we get to come back sometime. So anyway, that's it for today. I'll do another video. I'll talk a little bit more about the, the, the production houses and stuff at another time. Uh, and happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Bye now.